Hello guys, it's you here from Machinaries and in this video I will show you how to use SVG files in CAD in Live. The first step we're going to create a SVG file, it's a vector file. By the way, I'm using Inkscape, but you can use whatever you want. I'll create this file and save it. When I bring this to Inkscape, to, I'm sorry, when I bring this to CAD in Live, I have something like this. And when I bring it to timeline, I have something like this on the project monitor. I will split these two just for you to see better. Okay, this is the vector file and it has this strong outline, but it's okay. The problem is here, project monitor. As you see, it has like this blurred outline. And if you try to transform this image, it will become worst. It means Cutting Live do not read SVG file directly. If you bring the SVG to the project bin, it will not read. This image is really small. Uh, 120, 128, as you see right here, pixels 128. So it's really small. But if you bring your image through the text editor, add a title clip and you can bring your image clicking right here. It's still really small, right? But if you just transform a bit, you have more bigger. And 1000, more bigger. And as you see, it keeps the vector. And you can have it whatever size you want because it's a vector, right? So you can put 5000 and still not blurry. So if I create, for example, let 100, put in the center, what is it? What is it? Ah, come on, cancel. Add title. It happens in the best families. So I have to, again, put it in the center and create title. And now, if I bring to the timeline, I can transform. but it will blurry again. Why? It's because when you bring the drawing to the project bin, it makes probably a raster, a raster image file. When you bring it to the timeline, it's also raster. So to keep the vector, you need to change on the title clip. Here, you keep the vector. So you change the size right here, three, And now I have my change. I just reduce the size right here. Because it's more bigger. And if I want more bigger, I go back to the title and make double. And this is awesome because you can have whatever image to whatever size you want without lose quality. But the best thing about it is you can make some drawings on Inkscape and use it. For example, I can make this 3D box. It's like a, a building. And I can use gradient. You can just be creative. And you can use also title here. You can create your, your title directly on the Inkscape. But if you try to export your title, you, it will not appear on Cadding Live because it, 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 has, it has its own properties inside of Inkscape. So you need to convert patch object to patch. Now it's an object, you cannot edit anymore, but you can export to Cadding Live. And you can also do a gradient right here. 
I save it and I go to cutting live and I have it. It looks ugly on the clip monitor, but it looks okay on the project monitor. As I say, you need to bring through the title clip. I just update and now I have it. I can change the size. And it's still okay. It looks like it's losing quality, but it's not. If you pick this monitor up, you see it. And the other good thing is, if you go to if you go to cutting live on the title clip, you cannot use a tree guide gradient. As you see on the gradient, you have only two spots. I mean, you cannot put a color on the middle. But in Inkscape, you can. There's a sphere. You can have, for example, three colors. Or even more, four colors. And also, a transparent color and if you save it and bring it to cutting live it's here and it's awesome and it it keeps transparency very well You cannot do this kind of stuff with cutting life, but you can do it with Inkscape or other vector software. Now, you cannot use your filters. Don't forget this. Because filter is also a inside property of cutting life. So you cannot use the filters and you cannot use text directly. You should convert to patch, object to patch. Now you can use it. Okay, that's now for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I see you in the next video.